Hi everyone, in this video I'm checking out my first Mini Z crawler, but there's a twist. It is actually not a um, Kyosho Mini Z, it is called a Mini Z, but it has none of the branding from Kyosho. It, it seems like everything has been removed, or was it? Let's check it out. And here it is. It is called Red Spider, but Banggood just sells it as a Mini Z. And here we have a good look at it. It actually looks not that bad. Red Spider Mini Z. And here from this side in the back. And let's open it up. Alright, uh, or not. Okay, let's have a look. Dang it. Let's get it out of the box. Okay, I have to work a bit. Yeah. Ooh, and there's more. Here we go. Let's have a look inside. Here we have the remote. All right, but I'm not used to filming this angle, so let's have that change. Yeah, so here it is. So the foam on the steering feels quite soft, and yeah, it's all right. It's supposed to have fully proportional steering and throttle. We have steering trim, steering dual rate. And I'm not really sure what Channel 4 does. And there's also a throttle trim, which is this one. Here we have the throttle. This is where the batteries go. As you can see, it takes four AAA batteries. The picture used on Banggood still has Kyosho branding. Now here without branding, I will show you the original Kyosho Mini Z right now and you can see where are the differences. They are minor, but they might just be enough. So what else is in here? The manual, please read it. And that's it. Now to get to the car, we need to loosen some screws here and I have something. This is a Xiaomi Media screwdriver and opens up like this. And you have all the bits in here. This was a birthday gift from my wife. I put a link in the description if you want one as well. And here's the screwdriver. It's a two-speed screwdriver. And here are the bits on the side. And we will use this one. Let's get it fitted. And here we go. I do like the torque on this one. And now for the rest. Shock test, and oops, I forgot to loosen some more screws here. So, let's go. Now for the shock test. I gotta say the body looks pretty cool I mean we don't have any working lights but there might be a way to change that lots of details and still has the Rubicon decal on it and I like the shimmer effect the metallic looky and there's some details on it still that's kind of cool I like it And we have a functional spare tire and it's soft. It's all right, I guess. So from the looks of the body, it's already pretty cool. Now let's have a look underneath. So we do have some plastic, but you can upgrade that. And this is how the body is held in place. And thanks to editing, you don't have to suffer for three minutes of me figuring out how to do that. Body appears sturdy and flexible. I like it. And here's where I need help from the Mini Z fans. I cannot really tell how by how much it looks like the original. So here we have the place for the batteries. And behind it is the motor and the center gear. We have the servo over the axle. Here's the ESC receiver combo and friction dampers. But I guess for the size and weight, it's okay. All right, now let's put some batteries inside. So that's one thing I know from the original Kyosho Mini Zs, which also run with normal household batteries, where you can also try and see which one you think suit the best. I have very cheap ones here, but that's just for demonstration. 
Funny thing though, I always tell everyone to read the manual, but now where's the on button? <laughs> oh yeah, I found it. It's here. And in order to keep the batteries in place, you need to fit this clamp in there. And there you go. Just from the looks of it, I think it's a cool model, but let's also hope it will drive as well. Now let's get this one started. Remote on. Where was the power button again? Um, oh yeah, the switch is in the back. Car on. And I didn't hear anything, but let's see. Hmm. Nothing. I don't know what happened, but let me figure it out. So it turns out I had to rebind it. There's a button inside when you open it, so you can rebind it again. Now it's working and now let's see. So I did not change anything uh, regarding any other settings and I just wanted to see whether you can crawl right out of the box. Let's get over this thingy here. And see it stops and then you have to quickly go over it. But anyways, let's drive it around a little bit. So I'm trying to go backwards over a tiny stick, but trying to do it slowly does not work. You always have to go full throttle to get over the obstacle. Now it's the same thing going forward. Yeah. Alright, so we'll continue this video going between mid and full throttle all the time. So for the price of under 100 euros slash dollars, it is an okay RC car where you can get replacements and stuff. So it is a bit of a better toy RC and it might also be a good and cheap platform where you can put your own ESC and everything in there. So I hope you liked this video, please consider subscribing and thank you for watching.